Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. In need of a crafting fix... There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello everybody, welcome to Yarn Lane. It's great to have you company. I'm Stuart Hillard. Uh, Carol's already messaged in to say good morning all. Good morning, Carol. Good afternoon now, actually. We've just tipped past noon. Uh, we've got a great roundup show for you today. It's a roundup of all loads of lovely crochet and knit projects. Um, we've got so many wonderful projects that we want to get into the warehouse. So we're having a bit of a roundup um, of some wonderful projects which we know you're going to enjoy just to make a little bit of space. So stick with me. Um, let's head on over to the website. Uh, there we are, you can watch live. 
and then once you've clicked on that scroll down you can pre-order now look at some of these gorgeous projects we've got on the show this morning you might have spotted these before and thought oh maybe one day here they are this is the time some beautiful oh my goodness that one with the sheep the little black sheep i want that is amazing oh that is adorable okay yep sold um and then we've got some beautiful shawls and scarves bit of entrelac there absolutely beautiful some lovely lace knitting uh stunning favorite designers there that shawl on the left hand side goodness me wool couture we've got crochet socks absolutely fab knitted socks beautiful um, a great roundup, some absolutely stunning yarns. These are the crochet socks that Adele, our last guest, was talking about. They're the actual ones she's been making. Uh, blankets as well. So whether you want to make some accessories for your home or some accessories for you, stick around for this hour. A gorgeous, gorgeous blanket that. We might be coming to that first, actually. And then we've got some individual yarns as well. Some chunky yarns. Um, if you want to make something lovely and soft and squidgy and nice and quick, you can't go wrong with a super chunky. And that's from Mariner, who are multi-award winning uh, yarn manufacturer. And then we've got some books down there as well. So really something for everyone. So if you want to get ahead, oh, that's lovely. Can I make that in an adult size? I think I probably can. Absolutely lovely. Just about to just adjust myself. There we go. If you've got any questions that you want to ask, then do message uh, the studio, studio at yarnlane.com, and we will read out as many messages as we can. Now then, let's get started. Now let's have a look and see GUW448 cream cushion. Here we go. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to open up the bag and show you what's inside. Oh, we're not going to have time. Oh, we can. Ah, let's just have a little look at this because this is such a good quality kit, this. So you're getting your lovely wool couture bag. I love it when you get a bag for your project. Um, and it's also lovely if you're going to gift the finished project. And then inside, this is absolutely beautiful, beautiful quality. Um, it's a seed stitch cushion. You can just see a little bit of it there. That is absolutely lovely. Um, the yarn is stunning. The yarn is absolutely stunning. Um, you've also got these wonderful um, coconut buttons. Isn't that beautiful? And you've got, so that seed stitch is just on the back. I think that might be a different one, you know. I think that's a different cushion because this is the seed stitch cushion. I'm just going to grab the pattern out so that you can see. Yep, so it's the seed stitch. There you go. You can see that one there. Uh, that's absolutely lovely though, isn't it? Really, really lovely. There we go. $39.99. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Such beautiful quality. And I love the fact that you've got buttons. You've got the uh, darning needle there as well. You've even got a guide on how to knit. And this yarn is absolutely beautiful. It's 100% merino wool made in Yorkshire. Made in Yorkshire. That is a beautiful, beautiful accent cushion, that. And I love the fact that it's coming in a bag too. $39.99. It's a very, very special kit. Very special finished result. Gonna whiz through some more now. We'll do one more here. What would you like to do? I want to do a sheep. Let's do the sheep. Hmm. I don't know. Is it this one here? Yeah. Okay. So this is I Love Sheep Cushion. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's got this wonderful sort of teal background to it. So the cushion itself is going to be this lovely teal colour. It's shown here in the grey, but you'll get teal. 
um, storm blue it's called and then you've got your sheep yarn your your for your fleece you've got the black for the face and the legs and then you've got rosy cheeks absolutely lovely for 17.99 that is terrific really lovely you're getting all of that for 17.99 and the pattern which of course you can make again and again and again that this one right here This one here, yep. So this, oh, this is very cute. So the um, sheep is made up of hearts, because I love sheep. We've got sheep at home. We've got Balwyn Welsh Mountain that are black sheep with little white legs. Um, this is absolutely cute. So what you've got here, this is the blue colorway. You're getting the gray colorway. So it's a gray background. And then you've also got the white. No, nope, that's different. Sorry. Ah, beg your pardon. Sorry. The one I really liked on air. Let me get it out. Oh yes, of course. There we go. Sorry. So this one, um, stocking stitch, and just using um, very simple colour work technique. You're just going to use intarsia uh, knitting technique, which is all explained in the pattern. Really cute that one little black sheep. There's always a black sheep in every family. And that's only $16.99 for that. Wonderful. Love that design. So you're getting everything you need in there. You just need to add some needles and a cushion pad. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. Now, don't forget to check the web. Shop ahead, see what's available. There are some absolutely beautiful shawls and scarves. We're going to have a look at a few now. Now then, now this I'm absolutely just over the moon about. I think this is so beautiful. This is um, called uh, this Yarn Addict and it's the Fistrel scarf or shawl. It's absolutely beautiful. You're getting the yarn. I just think the colours in there are absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. And the yarn itself is just so gorgeous it's like a yarn cake and look at all the colors in there like um kingfisher blue purple and this gorgeous intense pink absolutely lovely you've also got wonderful beads in there too i think that's the designer right there uh, you've got um beautiful beads as well that go with uh, for 29.99 it's a real quality kit this beautiful and you're adding in the beads as you go I think that is really lovely so that's the early bloomer shawl gorgeous um, there's also a version of that which is in a kind of greens and purples um, that's this one right here this is called Middle Earth this colorway it's absolutely lovely, kind of mossy greens and golden greens through into purple as well. That is absolutely stunning. And it's the absolute right time of year, isn't it, for a shawl, just to wrap around yourself to keep out the chills. Really beautiful. Again, $29.99. Now, another one that's caught my eye, I think because of the colours, really, over here. Um, this is QN6683. This is the entrelac shaped cowl. And I just think the colours are absolutely beautiful. And this was actually designed by our producer's stepmum. Ha! Amazing. Carol. Well done, Carol. Amazing design. Entrelac is such a cool technique. Um, and this is using Hayfield Spirit Double Knitting. I just absolutely love those colours in there. Aren't they beautiful? They're absolutely stunning. It's going to make a really gorgeous kind of autumny coloured cowl there. Great way to learn a new technique if you've never tried Entrelac knitting before. Now there's another version, same design, but this 
is gorgeous kind of icy colours almost. This is called Mystery, which is how I live my life, is a complete and utter mystery. <laughs> this has got wonderful purples, heathery colours, some grey and a little bit of um, like a sort of tealy blue. That's really lovely. That's very, very pretty. Um, for £21.99, you can make your very own entrelac shaped cowl. Great thing to wear when you're out dog walking, maybe. Or just enjoying walking through the woods, the crunchy leaves underfoot. It's a great time of year for it, isn't it? So that's super. Um, I also am really attracted to this one, which is gorgeous. This is a little bit... Now, don't be put off. I know this looks like it would be really... Um, complicated because it's got this lace knitting pattern um, if you're fairly new to knitting but it's literally um, knit and purl and slipped stitches and passing slip stitch over and yarn overs very very simple technique really and this is using exquisite four ply from West Yorkshire spinners this is the Eve fishtail scarf £14.75 is amazing because you actually pay more than £14.75 for one skein of the West Yorkshire Spinners Exquisite 4-ply yarn in that very well-known uh, store in London, the black and white building that sounds like freedom. <laughs> i just say it, Liberty. It's more expensive in Liberty than the whole thing and you're getting the pattern too. Absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful that's such a gorgeous scarf um, and not a difficult knit at all quite an easy knit that one now then what else should we have a look at while we're here there's adventures in crafting something mustardy colored if it is it's in the bag it'll be the last one I, oh yes there it is the last one i got to of course <coughs> these are lovely aren't they in the drawstring bag i like it when you get a bag with a project 34.99 oh love the color gosh look at that that is beautiful adventures in crafting the pocket scarf Ah, yes, now then, let me show you the pattern. There it is. So you've got the scarf, but you've also got pockets. It has pockets. Well, I'm sold. Anything with pockets. Um, I would use those pockets. I would probably use one for jelly beans. And then I would use the other one for my mobile phone and a handful of goat food. It's just how I roll. I wouldn't put goat feet in it because next thing I knew the the pocket would be in a goat's mouth and it would be munching its way. Uh, this is a lovely colour. It's like a sort of soft old gold really, like an Aztec gold, but quite sort of muted and lovely. Um, it's a chunky, so this is going to crochet up quickly. It's a crochet pattern, this one. Um, and you've got some good support pictures along the way. So if you were brand new to crochet, uh, you could definitely do this. Um, for £34.99. Comes with its own drawstring calico bag. Five balls of Timeless Chunky in that wonderful old gold shade. I think that's a great make. Loving that. Now, same idea but a different colorway we've got that in now this colorway is parchment this is parchment so that's lovely that would go with anything wouldn't it <clears throat> so again you've got five balls of the parchment that's very lovely and also the pattern to make the pocket scarf fabulous Again, £34.99. And then we've got one more option. One more option, which is for like a copper. Oh, that's lovely in that colour. I like that. I like that very much. And then we've got one more, which is in Bordeaux. It's been called red wine. It's a little bit more generic. This isn't the scarf though, apparently. <laughs> Elliot, it is, it is. <laughs> so that's Bordeaux. 
That's the Bordeaux version, again for the pocket scarf. So, which colour are you going to go for? The gold, the Bordeaux, or the parchment? Lovely though, really nice design. And of course you could make that pattern many, many times. I think it's a really useful scarf, with or without the pockets. Okay, now then. What else have I got? I haven't shown everything. There's something in a little bag here. Oh, this is also from Adventures in Crafting. And this, oh, this is a matching hat. Oh, that's lovely. So a matching hat, again, crocheted. And also what I haven't mentioned with the previous <laughs> scarves is that each one of them comes with a little leather tag that says handmade that you can then sew on. Can you see that? Look at that. So that's on the hat, but it's also on the scarf. Very, very nice little design feature that. For £12.99. You could do a matching set, couldn't you? But I think we've only got that hat in the gold. Okay. Now, there's a few others here that I haven't looked at yet. Um, this is another crochet. Uh, this is using Rowan Pure Wool Superwash. Uh, <clears throat> this is lovely. This is called Netty, and it's a gorgeous shawl or scarf. Um, Code-wise, this is EC6685. Beautiful kind of, um, almost like an Air Force Blue. Um, and there's Anna, who's the designer. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that pattern. Love the tassels as well. Now, 23rd of August, Anna actually demoed this on air. So if you want to have a look at how to make this and watch Anna's demos, just find the show on YouTube. And that comes with three balls of Rowan Pure Wool Superwash. 29 It's a beautiful, beautiful colour, that, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Um, is there a green version? Nope. Oh, yes. I tell a lie. I tell a lie. There is. I've got it right here. So this is the Mallard version. Um, the Rowan yarn is absolutely beautiful, by the way. Really nice. And it's a super wash, so you can machine wash it. So you're getting your three balls, and you're also getting Anna's pattern for the netty shawl. Really lovely for $29.99. Fab. Now, uh, let's have a look at some more knitting and crochet projects over the other side. Have a wander over with me. Come on. Come on, here we go. <laughs> there I am. You wouldn't realise how far I've walked, but it's actually quite a long way. I'm exhausted. Now then, let's start. Can we start with the basic crochet socks? Mm, these are great. Now, um, again, by Anna, um, Anna Nikoprovich, is that right? Yep, Nikoprovich. Uh, these are crochet socks. I've never crocheted socks before, but Adele was telling me that she's doing crochet socks and absolutely loves them. She can make a crochet sock in one sitting, which is quite something, I think. This is a cornflower blue. They're done in four ply. They're absolutely lovely, aren't they? There's the finished sock. Um, you need a three mil hook. So if you're going for this, I would pop a three mil hook in your basket if you haven't already got it. And also you need some stitch markers. $14.99, gorgeous. That's a bit different, isn't it? Now. Now then, next up, let's have a little look. Are you getting the bag? Are you getting the bag as well? You get the bag too. That's Walker Chore. Uh, UQW487. I'm going to open this. I'm going in, I'm going in. 
Elliot's moving things around. He's confusing me. <laughs> oh, no, there's something in here. Oh, oh, lovely. Let's look at this. Oh, this looks nice. Ah, these are the Aaron Slouchy socks. Now, we saw a picture of these earlier on. These are lovely. Oh, I like these very much. So what you've got here, this is the Heather socks, Aaron Slouchy socks. Um, gorgeous colour, this kind of um, purpley claret colour, but it's um, got little nubbly bits in it. That's lovely. Um, you've got your double pointed needles and you've got five, I approve. I always use five double pointed needles for my socks. I know a lot of people knit on three and have a fourth one to pick with, but I do five. So that's great. You've got your pattern. You've also got um, a darning needle there <coughs> excuse me, as well, just for the last little bit. Gosh, it will be the last little bit because I think they're finished with grafting. Yeah, you're grafting with kitchen assist. Or you can do a three needle cast off. So lovely, like those very much. They're coming in a little bag as well. So very giftable too, if you wanted to gift those to somebody as a Christmas present. And I'm guessing that these come in another colourway right here. And this colourway is, it is, it is. Ah, now this is called Siesta. Shall I open it so we can have a look at the colour? Let's open it. I think these are very much the kind of socks that you would wear around the house, aren't they? When you're having a cosy evening in by the fire. So these are the colour that are shown actually on the front of the pattern. So it's this lovely, rich kind of earth brown. Those are absolutely gorgeous. And again, you're getting your needles. You're getting your darning needle pattern and your yarn to make the socks. Now, obviously, using Aran way, oh, those are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. They could be boot socks as well, couldn't they? Um, they're going to knit up nice and quickly too. They're not going to take long. If you've never knitted socks before, um, this would be a great way in because you'll get a quick result. Um, I teach sock knitting and I always teach Aran socks because you can knit a sock in a day, you know, with tuition. Um, that's fab. Now we've got a few more things to have a look at before we move on. Um, we've got the crochet sock that Adele was talking about in the last hour. This is actually the socks that she's been doing, the Totten socks. Um, this is UM6671. Now this is a crochet sock, again, so it's a different kind of construction. You're crocheting instead. You've got two skeins of the grey and one of the tealy blue. I'm intrigued by crochet socks because crocheting is not something that I do very much of. They look terrific. Full instructions, nice and clear, lots of photographs as well. But what an attractive finish as well. And I love the colour work that you can add. You could use your own yarn there, couldn't you? Once you've made this version, you could dig into your yarn stash. I know you've got some yarn tucked away in there. <laughs> uh, nice review from Teresa in Cambridgeshire. Pattern well written, words and pictured. Absolutely. It's all about a good pattern, isn't it? Beautiful yarn, a good pattern, great finished result. Everyone deserves to feel successful, I think. Now, we have Adventures in Crafting. We've got two more kits from them. And I think this is might be the... Oh, this looks intriguing. <laughs> so what we've got in here... Ah, this is the Sheep Tapestry Crochet Cushion. So you've got your main yarn for your um, cushion, front and back, and then you've got your sheepy fleece wool, and you've also got your face and legs, and then you've got, he's got like a little um, flower 
in his mouth. So you've got that yarn. And then you've also got the buttons for the back of it as well. That's very cute. Very cute indeed. Now the other uh, kit that we've got is the chicken version. So we can go straight to a picture of that. There it is. Oh, I love that. Love that. <coughs> I'm not sure of the breed of that chicken. If anybody knows. Elliot's being very helpful and saying it's not a chicken. It's a cushion. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now then, we've got a few more shawls to look at. So many different lovely things to go through today. I should just pick something randomly and say, let's just go with this. Flock of sheep throw. Oh, now we loved the look of this earlier on. Look at that. There is a cushion design as well that goes with this. And look at all the yarn you're getting. My goodness me. You're getting five balls of the background colour. This is a lovely, soft, almost like a pea shoot green. It's called Meadow. And then there's black and white to make the sheep. Um, I love a knitted blanket. I, funnily enough, I've just finished knitting and filming some videos for a knit-along blanket that I've designed. Um, so a knitted blanket is a great project. This is all knitted in one piece. It's really beautiful, uh, really beautiful. So that's designed by Denny Gould of I Knit Designs. You're getting the full pattern. You're getting all the yarn that you need to make it for £24.99. And that's with the green background. Love that. So much fun with the sheep design, isn't it? Great for kids, great for a nursery. Lovely. And then we'll have a look and see what's in this other bag right here. Ah, now this is same blanket but this time it's got the grey background. Now we did have earlier on the um, cushion version, grey background with the black and white for the sheep. Um, it's an Aran weight, so it's going to knit up quite quickly. It's not going to be a slow knit. And you've got your five balls of grey Aran for the background. You're getting your white and your, but it's a kind of a cream, I think. Um, no, it is white and black. And then you're also getting your fantastic pattern for £24.99. Um, Needle-wise, you'll need five millimetre um, and either long needles, yeah, to go for longer than normal. Or personally, I would use a circular needle with like a metre long cable in the middle. You're not knitting in the round, you're knitting back and forth. But when you're knitting something really big, um, a circular needle is a much better option. And I also really like the feel of short needles in my hands. I find I can knit quicker, more comfortably as well. Give them a go if you've never tried them. Cable needles are fab and they're not just for circular knitting. Now, we have a question. I'll have a go. Uh, how long would it take you to do a four-ply ankle sock? That's Linda um, Connett's onesie. How long would it take to do a four-ply ankle sock? Well, if you are brand new to knitting, things always, you know, knitting socks, things always take a bit longer. But I reckon I could knit an ankle sock in an evening because you can't, well, I do top down. So you're casting on, you'd only do probably about three or four rows of rib just for the top of the sock. And then you're straight into the heel. Um, so do the heel, um, pick up, do the gusset. The foot's gonna take the longest. I suppose it depends what size your feet are as well. If I'm making them for me, I've got size eight feet. So that's probably an evening's worth. If I'm making them for Charlie, he's got size 12 feet. Um, so I just refuse. I make him buy his sock nut. I will knit them for him, but they are, they do take a very long time. But yeah, I suppose it's, 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 it's um level of experience really but they're definitely giftable and i would go for ankle socks for gifts because um you haven't got to knit the leg good question though thank you 
Now then, we've got here um, PTW424. It's the mink cream grey Hannah blanket. It's a wool couture kit. This is really, really lovely. Oh, we've got a picture. I'd have to open it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Really lovely. So you've got that mink, which is that sort of pinky colour. You've got the grey and you've got the cream. Absolutely lovely. Do we know what the size is on that blanket? It looks drapeable, doesn't it? It looks big enough to go over your knees. Absolutely lovely, that. 59.99. So that's the Hannah blanket in mink, cream and grey. And looks very simple, straightforward knitting as well. It's just knitting back and forth. I haven't checked the pattern, so I don't know exactly what knit stitch it is. So I wouldn't like to say, but it looks like garter stitch, but um, looks pretty simple and straightforward. But very luxurious and snuggly. Um, knitted accessories are so on trend for interiors. Lovely knitted throws for over couches and chairs or thrown over beds as well. Absolutely lovely. Might just have a little look in this bag while I'm here. Lovely that you get your, your project bag as well. Um, absolutely super. Just having a quick look. Having a quick look. Oh yeah, and look at that beautiful yarn as well. I think it's really worth having a look at that because that is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful yarn. PTW424. Um, cream, grey and that lovely mink colour. That is smashing. It's a chunky weight yarn. It's 100% merino made in Yorkshire. And there's your blanket. Ace. So if that appeals to you, that's a very, very luxurious blanket, isn't it? If you wanted to give that as a gift to somebody, as a really lovely gift, but also um, very, very nice to give as a completed gift presented in the bag. You haven't even got to wrap it, which appeals to me because I'm quite lazy and bad at wrapping. Now this is WJW461, which is the mink herringbone blanket. This is very, oh, that's very lovely. Now that's lovely, isn't it? That's almost like a bed runner um, size would go over your knees. And that herringbone stitch is a really fun one to knit. Um, whole thing's done in mink and you're getting eight, eight balls. So you're getting a lot of yarn. Look at all that, that's fantastic. I'm getting eight balls, beautiful mink color. It's a lovely, soft kind of beige pink. A very, very nice, 79, 79.99. And it's that herringbone. You can see there it's actually being used as a bed runner. That's smashing. Really nice. Now I think this would be the kind of thing that you could give as a gift to somebody to make up themselves. But also it would be a wonderful, I think it would make a great wedding gift. Made up as well. It is beautiful. The quality of the yarn is exceptional. <clears throat> And it's a repeated knit as well. Now, I think if you wanted to um, learn to knit, <coughs> I would go for the Hannah blanket because you're going to get a beautiful, um, lovely sized blanket using very basic stitches. The herringbone, little bit more involved using that herringbone stitch, but again, not difficult and it's the same stitch repeated. There it is. And I think it's nice as well with those colour changes too. The mink, the grey and the cream. Really nice. Now, let's have a quick look at the um, Spay Bay shawls. Um, inspired by the beautiful Spay Bay on the Mori Firth in Scotland. Um, really lovely. This is a lace shawl. So this is the green version, 
um, it's a lovely yarn actually uh, <coughs> it's organic cotton four ply now we've got a question loving the shawl is the Anakin Alice Bloomer's Fiskal beaded shawl okay for beginners now then that's the one with the yarn cake isn't it the gradient Fiskal beaded shawl it's the one with the yarn cake so that was the one that we had earlier on. Mm, so you've got some um, yarn over lace on that. I would say confident beginner, certainly. Uh, if you've never knitted before, then no, I wouldn't jump straight to that. However, I would buy it while we've got it because it's a beautiful, beautiful pattern and a gorgeous yarn. Um, I would... You know, if you've never knitted before, I would sort of just practice your knit and purl and a few other things. Just try a bit of lace. This is the the details for it actually. It's that one right there. So you've got a little bit of um, simple lace. It's not complicated to do. I mean, I was doing yarn over knitted lace um, like that when I was like 10, 11. I'd been knitting for a few years, but it's not difficult because all you're doing is knitting and then you're doing things like a yarn over, so where you bring your yarn over the needle and back round ready to purl, or a yarn round needle if you're knitting, um, and then you're maybe knitting two together. And then when you knit the next row, that yarn over creates like a little bit of a lacy hole. It's not difficult to do. And you've got a wonderful pattern there to follow. Um, so, yeah, I think if you're a confident beginner, go for it. So we've got the Yarn Addict um, Spay Bay in green. Uh, that's this one right here. It's got an amazing wingspan. And then this is Downtown spay bay which is this one right here which has got the blues and the copper and the charcoal i love these multi-tonal balls because you get this amazing change of color through the shawl um, without actually having to do any extra work there's no color changes there at all it's one 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 um, yarn you're using two balls of course but you get all of those different effects smashing lovely project for 29.99 that keep you going through the winter. Now, a lot of these kits you won't see again. Um, this is their last time on air, so do check out your baskets. Some of them will be back, of course, but not, so, not all of them. So um, do make sure you check out your basket. Now, I'm going for another wander, so do come with me. Back to my cup of tea and my stool. <laughs> Here we go. Now, let's start with some books. I love knitting books. Oh, lovely. Oh, I've got my tea. It's always nice, isn't it, to have a cup of tea when you're going through a book? Lovely. Now then, oh, let's have a... Well, I'm very, uh, I'm very strongly drawn to fairy tale blankets to crochet. <clears throat> Ten fantasy themed children's blankets for story time cuddles. I'm there. You had me at cuddles and story time, frankly. Um, lovely. Let's have a little look at what we've got. So these are all crochet projects. Uh, we've got Polar Bear, Princess or Prince, Wolf, Little Red Riding Hood, Deer, Festive Elf, Fish, Lion, Unicorn and Dragon. Oh, hello. I'm loving this already. Got all the techniques there. Ooh, even that looks gorgeous. Oh gosh. I have to practice my crochet. So these are some square blankets. Okay. And then you've got rectangular blankets. You're saving 20%, £10.39. There's the polar bear. Oh, that's absolutely adorable. Really lovely. I could rock that. Oh, look. So that's the polar bear. Very adaptable as well, because of course you could do this as a brown bear, a grizzly bear. I'm sure with a bit of extra, you know, toing and froing, you could turn it into a, a koala bear as well. Here's the princess or the prince. I love the fact that it comes complete with a crocheted crown. 
You know, it's words to live by. I always say sometimes you've just got to put on a crown and show them who they're dealing with. I don't know if Marilyn Monroe said that, but it's often put over a picture of her. So this is the prince or the princess. I think that's fab. And I love the fact that these are designed for story time cuddles because, you know, as an ex-teacher, story time is so important. It's a great bonding time. Here's the wolf, the wolf, but not a scary wolf, a very sweet, oh, lovely. That's gorgeous. Um, these tend to use, now let's have a little look. These are Aaron, I think. Uh, that's Ch Chunky, Yarn, the princess or Prince. That one's Aaron as well. I think they're probably mostly Aaron or Chunky. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, that's a puff stitch and that uses worsted weight. So an Aaron, an Aaron weight again. So Aaron and Chunky. The deer is adorable. Absolutely. Adorable. How lovely. Look at the ears. That's smashing. And that looks like a bit like a frog, doesn't it, with the eyes? <laughs> Their ears. Festive elf. That's cute. Nice for Christmas. Yeah, that's really super. I love it. Loads of lovely projects in there. Um, the lion is great. Um, first Halloween party Charlie and I ever had. Charlie dressed up as a lion. And he actually had the costume from the stage production of The Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Um, he hired it from a theatre. And then somebody knocked on our door to ask directions. <laughs> and Charlie went to answer the door, <laughs> open the door, dressed as a lion. Course. I think the fact that it was Halloween sort of helped, you know, but I, I think the person still got more than they were bargaining for, bargaining for. Now, the next one I want to look at, if I may, is Nordic Knits for Children. This is, again, really gorgeous. Um, I love colour work. I absolutely love colour work. That is fabulous. That is fabulous. Really gorgeous. So what you've got here... Um, is a selection of Nordic knitting patterns. Um, nice little bit of history here. Norwegians started knitting as far back as 1476 and it was a craft brought over by merchants when Norway was trading for luxury goods. Absolutely smashing. Um, always a good how-to section at the start. I think, you know, if even, even as an experienced knitter, it's lovely, isn't it? Always to look through, you can pick up tips, techniques. I mean, I can't tell you how many years I'd been knitting before I learned mattress stitch. So, you know, some great projects here. So you've got hat and scarf set, a flap hat. God, I've got a few of those, they're lovely. Some mittens, a dress leg warmers, I'm there, um, mittens, a slipover, that's very lovely, sweater dress and a sweater. I love this duffel jacket, that is absolutely beautiful. Teddy bear, Otso the teddy bear. Well, there's a name I haven't used for goats, so that's one in my name bank. Uh, Fisk purse, the summer sweater, the rod cable cardigan, that is lovely, and the rustling yoked cardigan. Some really gorgeous projects there. That is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. It's ten pounds and thirty-nine pence. Really lovely. These would make the most wonderful Christmas presents, wouldn't they? We do love that hat. Um, good for using up your scraps of yarn as well, because children's wear never uses very much yarn. Um, and you're using different colours. If you've never tried colour work before as well, um, what's nice about these, things like the leg warmers would be a good place to start because you've got no shaping. So you're able to complete the colour work pattern without having to um, change the size and shape as you're going, which I think always throws us. Uh, these are great projects, aren't they? That's sweet. 
Knut. Hmm, little polar bear sweater. Very, very appealing. And of course you could adapt these patterns, couldn't you? There's no reason why you couldn't turn that into a scarf have the motif at the bottom, knit some of the scarf in the stripe and then just carry on in maybe the teal. Mmm, absolutely lovely. <clears throat> this is my favourite though, the Coors Duffel Jacket. I wonder if I could size that up for an adult. I think um, both I and Elliot would both wear that. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Mmm, so that's the Nordic Knits, £10.39. Now, skinny scarves. Oh, we've had a, oh, I've bought, I've just bought the crochet socks. My dad, who is 102, loves hand-knitted socks, but I can't knit. Oh, Adele, that's fabulous. Oh, you dad's 102, that's incredible. Well, now you can crochet socks, how wonderful is that? I introduced my dad to knitted socks and um, that was it. Um, no more would he wear ordinary bought socks. It had to be hand knit socks because they were so soft and squidgy. Absolutely lovely. Crochet socks are a thing. I didn't know that before today either and I should have done, but um, now I want to learn. Thanks for that message, Adele. Now, skinny scarves, the perfect accent for every wardrobe. And there are actually bonus online tutorials for this as well. Um, this is great. This is an absolute steal, isn't it? £6.83. Um, making the most of your scarf, different ways to tie your scarf. That's clever. Um, simple rib, basket weave, cellular, cluster rib. Eyelet garter, oh that's nice, I like that, that's a bit different. Eyelet garter, garter stripes, a little bit of mock cable. Uh, this is fab, ruffled scarf, using a mesh yarn. Mm. Oh, love the colour of that. Seed stitch, a little bit of simple cable. This would be jolly good actually if you're um, new to knitting and you want some projects where you're actually making something because um, scarves are the best way I think to learn a technique because you've enough chance to get the the pattern under your belt you're not having to do any shaping it's practical it's giftable that's excellent um six pounds 83 so you've got I think is it 10 different designs 12 12 designs, goodness me. So about 50 pence plus a 55p or something per pattern. Ace, absolutely brill. Um, Granny Square, baby Afghans. Now I'm still at the uh, Afghan stage with my uh, crochet, but actually having a look at the front, <clears throat> at the sort of projects you can make, this would definitely move my cro crochet on a pace. So I think this would be a good book for me keep on squidging over, don't I? That's lovely. Oh, really nice. You know, basic stitches, just basic stitches, easy. These are easy. I'm telling myself this because I'm trying to encourage myself to do more crochet because it's something I admire very much, but I don't do very often. All American baby, all British baby as well. All French baby. Cute, really cute. So that's the baby Afghans. And then we've also got this um, little booklet too, which is called Timeless Edgings um, for baby blankets. Great edging designs. So you've got here, um, let me just have a look and see. So this is all about how to do the edging of the blanket. So you could put this on any number of different blankets. So you're not going to make the blanket using this book. You're just learning how to put the edging on. But what a super way of moving on. If you've maybe done a blanket, which is just maybe trebles or single crochet, and you want something to put around the edge, very nice. Yeah, super. Yeah, now then, we've got some patterns here from Mariner. 
Here's a super chunky crochet. So again, really simple and quick. Well, that's rather lovely, isn't it? Liking that. Using a super chunky yarn. Now this is for the pattern. Okay. And that's the Mariner Crochet Blanket Scarf and Mitts Knitting Pattern, 9 99 And that's using Super Chunky Yarn. That's a crochet pattern. So you're getting all your instructions in there. Fab. Another pattern quickly, yeah. This is a Super Chunky Knit. This is the Lacy Shawl. Looks gorgeous in that colour. Again, $9.99 for the Mariner Lacy Knit Shawl. Don't forget to check out your baskets, will you? Some of these are very limited. Um, we don't have massive stocks of these, so be nice and quick. Um, this appeals to me. This is a poncho in Super Chunky. Do you love a poncho? £2.49. That's amazing. £2.49 for that. Super price. Oh, that's really cute. I like the roll neck. Now then, some yarns to finish off, I think. Um, maybe you've bought one of those patterns and you're looking for some super chunky yarn. We have got it. Now, um, this is the uh, Mariner Super Chunky. Uh, this is a lovely, lovely rose pink. Very, very nice. This is pale rose. You're getting 100 grams of super chunky yarn here. Um, needle wise, we're looking at what are we, about 10 mil. Yes, 10 mil. 10 mil needles for knitting up for the most part. Um, this would work really well for the poncho, um, just saying, or the lacy shawl. Uh, one, one ninety nine for uh, that per 100 grams. Remember, you can multi-buy. So that's the rose. Next colour up, we've got this one, which is red. It's red. Unashamed red. <laughs> Super chunky. Elliot would make his crochet blanket, his dragon crochet blanket out of this. Do you have a red dragon? You're a proud Welshman. It is lovely. 100% acrylic. And again, you're going to use 10 mil needles. Um, this also comes in a beautiful navy blue. I like that very much. This would be nice for the poncho. 199 a ball, 100 grams in each. And for something like the poncho, you're going to need about eight, between eight and nine balls. <coughs> including um, one of those balls will be for the contrast colour. So if you've gone for that pattern, uh, you could also go for some yarn to go with it. Now, we've also got this, which is um, Vista, Mariner Vista, which is a lovely sort of um, multi-tonal yarn mixed in with a beige. That's lovely. That's called Savannah. Mmm. Really like that. It's a kind of mixture of oranges and a bit of plum and deep pink. That is absolutely lovely. That's Vista. Super chunky. And now that colourway, or is it just a shade? Hmm. Ah, so that's the one that's called Vista. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the next one. This is a lovely produce, uh, lovely range of colours. This is called Tundra. This is Tundra. So that's a mix of kind of greeny blues, a little bit of clarity red in there, copper, and a little bit of gold. That's lovely. Again, it's super chunky. So this would be lovely for things like the shawl, the poncho. You could also create something like a really nice um, hat, a beanie, or a scarf, or a snood. That would all be really nice. It would knit up really quickly. You want 10 mil needles for this. So that's your Vista Super Chunky. 
Now, we've got two more yarns, um, uh, which is, again, going back to the Mariner Super Chunky. We've got this colour, which is purple. Oh, violet, in fact, violet. It's a lovely, I would call it amethyst. <laughs> That's the designer in me, Amethyst. But we've called it Violet, 199 for 100 grams. And then last of all, we've got the Mariner Super Chunky. And this one is in grey. It's a lovely sort of marl, actually. It's multi-tonal. There's different shades of grey. That would be absolutely wonderful for a knitted throw or a cushion, wouldn't it? It's the in colour, isn't it, for interiors? It's today's neutral grey, silvery grey. Absolutely beautiful. 199 for a 100 gram ball. Well, we're at the end of a very, very busy show and a busy morning. Thanks for joining us on Yarn Lane. Uh, we are ready to go now. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday, but don't forget to come back tomorrow where we'll be back on air on Sewing Street at 8 a.m. Until then, stay safe, enjoy the rest of your day. See you in the morning. <laughs>